Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let us proceed with module 4, Financial Functions, Data Tables and Amortization Schedules. First thing first, let us take a look at the objectives of this module. At the end of the module, you should be able to assign a name to a cell and refer to the cell in a formula using the assigned name. It means that yeah, you will select one or few cells and then name the cell at the name box. Next, you will need to know to determine the monthly payment of a loan using the financial function PMT. And this is the PMT function that you will learn in this module. Right, so this PMT function is um, used to uh, to look at the monthly payment of a of a loan, right? Okay, and then use the financial functions PV, present value and future value. Create a data table to analyze data in a worksheet. Okay, create the amortization schedule so this amortization schedule is a table uh, that lists the periodic payments on loan or mortgage over time yeah, it breaks down each payment into principal and interest and shows the remaining balance after each payment right so next you will control the color and thickness of uplines and bodies. Okay. Add a pointer to a table, eh, to a data table. Analyze worksheet data by changing values. Use names and print sections of a worksheet. Set print options. Protect and unprotect cells in a worksheet. Okay, so why we need to protect a worksheet so that uh, only um, cells that we allow the user, uh, the user to modify can be modified. Yeah? So we protect some cells that maybe we don't want uh, other users to modify, modify that particular cell. Yeah? And then hide and hide worksheets and workbook and use the formula checking features of Excel. Okay. So basically, uh, in this um, module, okay, you will um, use the PMT function okay, in which yeah, for this PMT function, okay, uh, there will be the future value, the present value. Okay. So the future value are the Future value function is a financial function that returns the future value of an investment. Okay? So you can use this uh, future value function uh, to get the future value of an investment, uh, assuming periodic constant payments with a constant interest rate. Okay, let's say uh, you have a car loan or you have a, a home loan. For example, so we'll use this PMT function eh, to um, calculate eh, the future value uh, of an investment, all right, or the current value of the investment. Okay, so you use this PMT function to determine the monthly payment uh, for the mortgage all right so you will know okay for uh, if you buy this car you will need to pay let's say thousand per month and okay? for nine years for example or for uh, seven five years okay so that is the purpose of the uh, pmt all right yeah okay? and then um among the formulas that you learn to eh, is the monthly payment formula, eh, the one that uh, I've explained to you earlier. Eh, total interest formula, eh, total cost formula eh, that uh, you will learn eh, throughout the 
module. Okay. Right, so this will be if you are doing the exercise on uh, in the textbook, and this will be the uh, table uh, that you will need to create. Okay, and then we have um, this is the roadmap. The first thing that you will do is creating the uh, mortgage payment calculator in the worksheet, and then you'll need to create a data table, create the amortization schedule, format the worksheet. Create print areas in the worksheet, so you will, you can select as uh, only uh, some areas uh, in the worksheet to be uh, print. Okay, and then protect cells in the worksheet. Check formulas of the worksheet. All right. So these are the things that I will do. So uh, for this um, uh, module four, you know, what you will need to do is. Um, to do module 4 in Sengage MindTap. Yeah, so frequently use financial functions and eh? the FV future uh, value okay? returns the future value of an investment. Eh? I've explained about this. The PMT value okay? calculates the payment for a loan eh? based on the loan amount, eh? constant payment and constant interest rate. Okay, So this will be the formula. Okay, you will have the the rate, the interest rate, the periods, the number of periods, and the loan amount. Eh? So you will need to um, uh, key in these values. Okay, and then the uh, present value. Okay, uh, in which it will return the present value of an investment. Eh? The present value is the total amount that a series of future payments now is is worth. All right. So these are a few financial functions that you will learn in this module. Okay, so these are the steps. Okay, so uh, any formulas, you should start with an equal sign. Okay? So you should have the equal sign in front and then the rest of the formula okay, that you need to enter. Okay? See? Okay? So you will need to know these um, formulas okay, that you will need to create the amortization schedule. Okay, so this is the formatting part okay, to protect, to hide and hide so you can hide the worksheet. Okay, error checking yeah, and that's at the end of module 4. Okay, thank you.